Lord of the Rings is a nice read on its own. It might enhance your experience to know that some aspects of the books might be a little more fact than fiction. No, there was no war for Middle Earth, but there is alleged proof that creatures like giants and hobbits may have actually existed at some time. Join us as we look at a few discoveries that suggest that giants were a very real species. The Giants of Ecuador In 2013, after heavy storms in Ecuador and Peru, a large female skull was found in the Loja province. The skull was dated by scientists, who determined it to be approximately 600 years old. The discovery of the skull would spark interest in finding the rest of its remains. In a few short weeks, the bones were soon found and assembled. The skeleton stood at an astounding 7 foot 4 inches tall. Given that the average height of a woman during that era was 5 foot 8 inches, the discovery was mind-blowing to science. Further research into the area would lead to the discovery of five more enormous skeletons in the area. These discoveries were made in two separate sites, leading scientists to believe that these were different tribes of people. Both groups are believed to have settled the area for nearly 150 years, and one of the most researched skeletons is believed to be that of a 60-year-old man. All of the skeletons found were between 7 and 8 feet tall, all of which were buried in deep, elaborate graves. Many locals still believe that there is a tribe of giants that slowly creep through the deep woods, far away from modern civilization. Campers and local tribespeople alike often report seeing extremely large people near bodies of water in the forests. The Kentucky Dover Mound Since the late 19th century, there have been many alleged discoveries of skeletal remains from so-called giants. Many have been debunked, but that still left more than enough separate discoveries to bring about the suspicion of their existence. One of the more strange finds took place in the state of Kentucky, at a location known as the Dover Mound. The Dover Mound is a large Native American burial ground where some of the most strange physical and genetic anomalies have been discovered. One of these anomalies was the skeleton of a 7-foot male Adena man. What was even more interesting than his height was his abnormally elongated head. Strangely enough, however, these skeletons had abnormally large torsos in comparison to their legs. At Native American burial grounds in Ohio, though, similar skeletal remains were found of incredibly tall men with elongated heads and disproportionately large torsos. Initially, people thought that this was the proof of aliens, that was until science confirmed that these were definitely human remains. Archaeologists today still find remains similar to these at Native American burial mounds all around the country, and some archaeologists are hesitant to believe that this is the proof of giants, but rather just coincidence, wrapped up in isolated incidents of body alteration techniques that were prevalent in some Native American cultures. The Lovelock Cave you would think by having Area 51 within the state lines that you might just have your fill of the weirdness that goes on. However, that doesn't seem to be the case for Nevada. The first strange reports from the area came in 1882 from a Native American tribe called the Paiute. The Paiute claimed that they were at odds with another tribe of red-haired giants. They reported that the people were an unfriendly group of cannibals that lived in the local caves. Their conflict would come to a head when the Paiute finally hunted down and killed many of these red-haired giants. They said the remaining ones ran into a cave that they soon set on fire to draw them out and kill them. The cave soon fell on itself, and stories became unfounded legends. That was until one day a pair of miners found ancient artifacts in the cave. The stories of the artifacts caught the ear of an anthropologist named Alfred Krober, who quickly put together an excavation mission to find out more about the people. This was a dig that would turn out to be vastly successful, uncovering thousands of artifacts from the rumored giants. Some of the artifacts were allegedly over 3,000 years old, and also found within the cave were the human remains of average height people, along with enormous handprints on the wall. The dig would continue until the group finally uncovered what they were looking for. 
mummified remains of seemingly humanoid giants that were between 8 and 10 feet tall. New York Giants In 1871, in the town of Cayuga, a local newspaper reported on an archaeological dig that was taking place at the local Native American burial grounds. This dig would gain media attention when visitors claimed that they saw giant skeletons being raised from the ground by the archaeologists. It was said that nearly 200 skeletons had been exhumed, and some of them measured to be around 9 feet tall. It was also estimated that the remains could have been up to 9,000 years old. Evidence of the skeletons was eventually lost to time. But despite this convenient loss of evidence, skeptics have traveled to the alleged home of the giants and uncovered evidence that there was, in fact, an organized civilization in the area at some point, but claim that the estimation of 9,000 years was still dubious. There are some who claim to still find abnormally large human skeletal remains in the area, such as teeth, but none of these claims have been as widely confirmed as the Cayuga excavation. Some conspiracy theorists believe that this actually happened around the time that the U.S. government also began to engage in suspicious and clandestine activities to keep secrets away from the public. The Giants of the Caucasus Mountains The generally uninteresting Caucasus Mountains have gained attention in recent years because of the alleged Cave of Giants that was found in 2008. The interest would begin in 2008 when a Georgian researcher by the name of Professor Vakua began wandering into the mountains chasing a rumor that he might have heard from a ghost, a rumor about a lost civilization. Vakua said that he wandered into a cave, and that's when he saw the skeletal remains of two enormous men sitting at a table. Vakua collected the bones to the best of his ability and brought them back to be researched. Over the next few years, the bones were observed, pictured, and researched by numerous scientists, all in order to make a determination of their origin. Mysteriously, however, the bones would be lost upon Vakua's death in 2014. At the time, the bones were being stored in a Georgia museum that was home to thousands of other ancient skeletal remains. And if anyone would need the bones, all they would do is ask Professor Vakua, as he knew best where to find them. When he passed away, everyone quickly noticed that they had no clue where to find the remains. Because of this, no one has been able to confirm whatever happened to the bones. This loss of evidence sparked interest in a second expedition into the mountains to once again chase the giant rumor. A team would be assembled to find the excavation site that was storied by the professor. With Vakua's old maps and journal in hand, they would retract his footsteps 30 kilometers before seeing the first signs of what was detailed in the professor's writings. The sites were giant pieces of handwork stones shaped like blocks and pillars clearly a rudimentary and intentional effort at building blocks. As the team would continue through the forest, the structures became more apparent, walls and shelters became more prevalent, and large megaliths and carved statues were found on the nearly paved path to their destination. After traveling through the forest for another six miles, the team finally came upon the cave that Vakua had described. Most of the skeletal remains had already been collected by Vakua, but there were still artifacts and bone fragments around the ancient dwellings. The site was estimated to be between 1800 and 2200 years old. While they could not find any more full skeletons at the site, it is widely agreed that many of the structures that were built could not have been made by men because of their sheer size and weight. While this doesn't exactly confirm the existence of giants, the many pieces of circumstantial evidence point to a very obvious conclusion. Giant Footprints One of the most cliché but possibly best forms of evidence that suggests the existence of giants are large footprints. In fact, there have been so many giant footprints that have been found over the centuries that it's been suggested that giants once even walked the earth in large numbers. Despite these discoveries, most skeptics claim that the prints were actually faked. So here, we'll examine some of the most credible and unexplainable footprints from around the world. 
One of the most famous giant footprints was found outside of Pelusi, South Africa. It was found over 100 years ago by a hunter, and locals named it the Footprint of God. The print has been a point of interest to many religious groups who believe that the print actually belongs to Goliath from the David and Goliath story. Measuring 1.2 meters long, if this giant were to have had normal human-like proportions, it would have stood between 24 and 27 feet tall. The lack of chisel marks in the stone proved that the indention was not man-made, and scientists say that the rock itself is intrusive granite, meaning that whatever left the print was stepping into cooling magma at the time. It is estimated that the print can be anywhere from 200 million to 3 billion years old. This rules out the possibility that this was a completely human giant, but it doesn't mean that it couldn't have been a lost ancestor or humanoid-like creature. Around the world, there have been similar footprints that have been found embedded in age-old rocks. In San Jose, a two and a half meter footprint was found near a local ranch. In the same city, another one and a half meter footprint was found on a cliff. Foreign explorers found a footprint twice the size of an average human's foot near a remote Chinese village. While these footprints are not proof that giants exist, it does pose a challenging thought about how so many of these human-like impressions have been found around the world. Maybe even more puzzling are the human-like footprints that seem to be of average size, but predate humans by millions of years. One of the most strange parallels among religious texts is their belief and documentation of giants. Could it be that giants actually coexisted with humans? Could they still be hiding in the deep forests in the most remote parts of the world? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And while we may never be able to definitively prove the existence of giants until we catch one, history has given us plenty of reason to believe that giants actually lived and may still live on the earth today. Thanks for watching. Jason and Jenny Carnes Lawrence, who witnessed three terrorist attacks. What would you say the odds of finding yourself in the middle of a terrorist attack are? Well, these days they could be growing, but what about three separate attacks in three different cities across the world? That's exactly what happened to Jenny and Jason Carnes Lawrence, an English couple from the Midlands.